Wow. <laughs> Hello, beautiful Gilba Variegated. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no, I shouldn't pull it out. It will have roots. Oh no, I leave it. I leave it. Oh, beautiful. Look how gorgeous you are. You have grown so big and there's a whole lot more of babies at the back here which I'm not gonna pull it out I'm sure there'll be oh I can see I don't know what you're seeing but I think there's some non-crested ones growing at the back there oh my goodness now you are very special you know why It will be now three years since this plant was given to me as a, quite a big crested cutting, but not as big as this one. It has quadrupled its size, so probably a little bit smaller than this one here is when I got it, and it was a crested form. But this one now, you can see in the center there, it might look crested, but give it another eight months. That thing there, this one here, will grow out like this. It will slowly spread out. So this one here is a crested form, but that's not to say that it's going to stay crested. And if they do, see like this one's here, okay, they're all single, single. And recently I saw one or a few for sale actually online and something about this size is worth a hundred and fifty dollars <gasps> oh my goodness so now i am so extra careful <laughs> with this one was before i was just throwing it here throwing it there and then now i'm gonna have to look after this one and hang on let's go oh let see you don't have to scream woman you've got a microphone on but anyway oh look <gasps> another baby Another baby. Okay, and more baby. So even if I say 50, 50, 50, 150, and even that one, but we have to color it up more. So maybe in a couple of years' time, this will become chip, chip, chip. <laughs> but I'm not growing it for the monetary value. Hang on. I'm growing it for the <laughs> beautification value. Okay, oopsie. Because now I've got this one that made a mess on my cardigan yesterday and I'm gonna use this one to put one of these beauties here and also I've got this other one here and also another small one here so that one is also similar rock than like this one so I'm gonna okay I'm gonna have a collection of there you go of what do you call that? Echeveria Agavoides Gilva Varigata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an Echeveria Agavoides red tip. Variegated. That slowly reverted because I put it out in the open back. Well, it's losing its variegation. So now I decided to put it back here in the shade. So a lot of variegated plants, I find that if exposed to the sun, will revert back to non-variegated form. So these are my variegated Vera that I took some cuttings from one plant. Now, the mummy plant, you can see how beautifully variegated it is. But anyway, the ones that are sort of out here, sort of, see, can you see the sun? So sun, 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 partial sun. <laughs> and that one is fully sun, although it's bigger. Hang on, I don't know if I could actually... Yes, you can see that the more uh, protected it is, the prettier it is, or it's retaining its variegation. And the one that is sort of out here in the sun are sort of losing its variegation. It's just becoming pink, although pink is still pretty. But I still prefer to have the variegated retained. See, like this one here, this is also Vera. I've had this in here for only two weeks because this thing was all beautiful like the other beautiful head there but now it's starting to lose its variegation because hang on look see the sun is hitting it so now I better put this away because eventually it's gonna lose its variegation so why do they lose their variegation because variegated plants are basically Plants that are starved 
from food. They're on a diet because if they don't get enough sun, they will variegate. See, but this one, see, look, half of it is variegated and the other half is not. When I bought this one, actually, it was like a baby, little half variegated. So now it's slowly um, having more variegation on its leaves because I haven't given it any fertilizer and it's also protected from the sun so eventually hopefully the whole plant will variegate but at the moment the babies underneath there there's a couple of them it's showing little streaks of variegated plants so which is i'm very very happy so i'm gonna have more chihuahua yes it's very good yeah 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 so this vera now look how beautiful that is next to this Loella variegated okay so Loella is so gorgeous and hang on I'm gonna show you another Loella which is not variegated but this thing now I need to put my Vera back in here which is uh, there's 50% UV shade cloth of course but there's no direct sunlight and plus underneath here see how the light is sort of filtered eventually that will show more green which would highlight its variegation more like this something i forgot powder oh my goodness my brain is not really powder puff variegated this one now i took a cutting of this one actually already and when i took a cutting baby popped out and another baby popped out and even though this is frost hardy this powder puff it still did not like the frost. Hang on, hang on, show me your face. Show me your face. I want to see your beautiful face. I can't see you. There you go. It's a beautiful face. So I only have one and then now I have two because that came from one plant. But this is just such a slow growing plant. So anyway, especially when they're variegated, they don't seem to like to grow fast. <laughs> How beautiful is that blood rose? So this is lovely rose with blood on its face. You got blood on your face. A big disgrace. No, it's not. It's beautiful. You're not disgraceful. You are graceful. See this variegated Loella? And this is a variegated Loella. No, it's not. This one is just normal variegated. But, hang on. There's another variegated plant in there that's dying. Actually, I think peach pride, but I've got a peach pride that is not so proud. <laughs> because, okay, see, look, the difference, see? Oh, beautiful. I do like the variegated one. And, oh, look, hello, Mr. Spider. Are you going to be jumping out of there? It's okay. I'm not going to touch you. Anyway, this one now. During summer, this Luella will actually go green. And, and look what I found. Oh, hello. Mika du ki bi jin. Oh my goodness. I'm just uh, looking. Oviferum cultivar mika du bi jin. I'm going to write the name. Too hard to pronounce. Anyway, this one now, guys, I'm going to put it back where I got it from because I really want to propagate this. I started with a teeny, weeny, weeny plant and then now this is actually at least three years old <laughs> in that little pot. I just want to see how far uh, or how long it's going to take before it grows. So this one now is on slow. This is actually not a variegated one. This is monstrous. But it's also, it looks like it's going to variegate as well anyway, isn't it? But anyway, I actually bought a special one. Anyway, look, see, it looks like it's variegating. Yes! Check out my Ronyoni eye. Finally, I got a Ronyoni eye that's producing lots of babies. Look at that. There's more inside there. And this one, it took a long time. I think I had, I was given one with a different name, which basically is Ronyoni eye. They just changed the name. And this one, uh, I paid $29 for a sick looking one, but I thought I just get another strain and I haven't even changed the soil or the pot that it's in. So this is still in its original pot that I bought it. Anyway, this one now, the top has been hit by a mealybug before, after I got it. And I thought it's gonna die, but it survived and another Ronyoni eye that I've got here, look. See the color? This one is more, hang on, we reverse that. The one on the right is more colorful because it's more exposed to the sun. And the one on the left 
is not as colorful, but it's producing lots of babies. See, and that one is just stingy. Just would not put out. Oh, there's a baby. <gasps> Two, finally. Oh, my goodness. Do I have another one somewhere? I think I should have another one somewhere. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for this video. I'm going to put this out here now. I'm not going to touch it. And also to this one. This is very special plant. This is called floral sea. First, I did not have a floral sea and I was chasing a floral sea. And finally, I got a floral sea. Very, very cheap because it wasn't variegated. I saw something when I bought it. It was like a sickly little plant. And there was one streak, one streak <laughs> of white line when I bought it. I don't know. Hopefully, I can find the photo, original photo on when I got this. But anyway... Now, look at it. It's showing all that variegation. Oh, it's so beautiful. Floral sea. Hello. Goodbye. I love you. Now, we're going to have to say bye-bye for now. I'll see you on the next video. I'm just going to go and play around in my garden. Oh, yes, peach frost. There you go. This peach frost as well, not frost hardy. So I have kept it indoors during winter. And it struggled and struggled and actually took some cuttings already, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, I think I have another peach frost. But anyway, I already took some cuttings from this one, I think. I can't remember now. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you. But this one now is ready to be chopped off. I think I'm going to take a couple of uh, plants from this one. But I'm going to leave it here for a couple of days. I'm just going to let it settle down. And I'm not going to do it because, look, there's more on the stem growing there. I'll just see how far it goes because the minute I chop off the top of it, those little babies will just shoot off. But if I leave it as is, what's gonna happen is just, it's gonna struggle those babies because it's trying, the mommy's trying, the mommy head is trying to feed, feed itself, but the baby uh, is only being fed like maybe half <laughs> because I want it to be fed full. Like this tango here that I chop, chop, chop the head off See, no leaves at all. And look at all those stems now, full of little babies. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching. And hope I see you on the next video. Adia, 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 adia. Look at that. Beautiful. Bumps. Please give me more bumps. I'm hoping to get the leaves bigger so I can propagate from the leaves. I don't want the flower, but hopefully if it doesn't get aphids on it, then I can get some seeds from this one and grow more longissima bumps, 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 bumps. I'm harvesting some dandelion to make into tea. Here you go. <laughs> I am, hang on, those ones there, I'm going to leave those ones in the ground because I've been trampling that one over so I'm only picking the ones that sort of high up and well I'm down here look I can't help myself I'm looking for <laughs> four leaf clover again oh my goodness yep I found one again look four leaf clover look at that hang on come here now this one I need to put you in a book I had to press you and preserve you instead of just leaving you out. <laughs>